What's up guys, my name is Levi. I'm from the Shreds YouTube channel. We're connecting you to skateboarding. This is 14 things you didn't know about Baker skateboards. Andrew Reynolds. Andrew Reynolds picks up a skateboard at age nine and starts rolling around in his hometown of Lakeland, Florida. In his teens, Andrew Reynolds gets a phone call from Tony Hawk and he asks him, will you ride for Birdhouse? After he gets that phone call, he moves out to California to film for the iconic video, The End. It's a full length feature skateboard film with acting in it as well. They do tons of crazy stuff, Steve Barra, everyone's in there. And if you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. Andrew Reynolds does this perfect buttery kickflip nose blunt down a picnic table down five stairs. Ooh, woo! Right after that video, he instantly becomes a legend. He wins Skater of the Year, makes it on the cover of tons of magazines, and he eventually goes on to be in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater video games. At this time, Reynolds is actually living in a house with a ton of birdhouse riders. They're partying a ton and it's located on Warner Ave. Jay Strickland. Jay Strickland is the birdhouse team manager as well. He is a filmer, photographer, and an artist. Jay and Andrew actually meet while filming for the end. Jay is the team manager and they go on to become great friends. Jay has actually gone on to be very controversial and polarizing in the skateboard industry. He's pushed a lot of people's buttons, pissed a lot of people off. There's actually a famous story about Jay Strickland where he actually holds a bunch of Heath Kirchhardt's footage ransom for $10,000. He tells Transworld, I'll give you this footage for $10,000 and if you don't give me $10,000, I'm throwing the footage in the river. Transworld eventually actually paid for the footage and it made it into the video sight unseen. You tell us, it was four years of his time. Was he actually holding ransom? Was he a jerk or not? Baker bootleg video. After the iconic video, The End, Jay actually wanted to go on and show a ton of the footage and a ton of the behind the scenes of the unedited, uncut, crazy stuff that went on while filming for the Birdhouse video. None of that footage was actually clean cut enough to be in a Birdhouse video. Jay actually worked with Reynolds to pull all the crazy party footage, all the crazy B-roll, all that together to actually make the Baker bootleg video. So the video is actually comprised of a bunch of footage that they filmed for all their sponsors, as well as a ton of hijinks from downtown LA. The video features Ali Bulala, Dustin Dolan, Andrew Reynolds, Alyssa Steamer, Jim Greco, Heath Kirchhart, Eric Ellington, and a bunch more. The video was actually super well received, and it became an instant classic. The start. Hey, get it together! <laughs> Reynolds, what is wrong with you? In the year 2000, Strickland and Reynolds actually came together to start Baker Bootleg and they launched it right off the hop with the, the iconic video Baker 2G. In the video, it's funny, if you look close, you can actually see that a ton of people are still riding birdhouse gear and a ton from their other old sponsor. Again, this movie is an instant classic. The video actually included so much funny hijinks as well as a couple prank phone calls to Jamie Thomas and Chad Fernandez that actually had to be pulled before the final release of the video because they were being threatened to be sued because they were had it in there in the video. When the video actually dropped, it became official. A ton of people left their current sponsors and switched publicly to Baker Bootleg. Even Ellington and Greco left zero. Reynolds officially and publicly quits Birdhouse, but he's still actually working with Per Willander and Tony Hawk and they're helping him launch and start Baker Bootleg. So Greco quits zero to switch over to Baker Bootleg. Dustin Dolan quits stereo and switches over. Ellington actually quits Zero, switches over, goes back to Zero, and then quits again and comes back. To add to the team, they actually went to Birdhouse and took two of their AM dudes, Knox Godoy and Evan Hernandez, and pulled them over to Baker Bootleg. Here's a lie. Evan's a crackhead. Not long after that, they added Terry Kennedy, making the official AM team. Also to note, in Baker 2G, Heath Kirchhart, Ali Bulala, and Brian Sumner all had parts in Baker 2G, but never actually rode for Baker. It's actually cool. If you guys know anything about Baker, you know that it's more about the friendship and the community that comes around it than it is about selling things or doing anything like that. The quote from Andrew actually says, Baker, it's very honest. It's who we are. At that time, they meet a guy named Ryan Ewing. You guys might know him as Beagle. You got me soaking wet. From the way you make me sweat. And he, he lives a few blocks from them on Warner Ave, and he becomes the official filmer, still filming today, for Baker. Originally, Baker and Bootleg were sister companies working kind of together, but Reynolds and Strickland actually had so many differences that they decided it was best that they actually split off and do their own thing. So Strickland took Bootleg and Reynolds took Baker, and you see where we're at now. Bootleg actually went on to do amazing things and having an amazing team and amazing videos. 
They actually had on their team train wreck, Alyssa Steamer, and Scott Kane and Anthony Mosley putting out tons of cool stuff. The origin of the Baker logo. The name Baker was a bit of an innuendo based off of drugs. In an interview, Andrew Reynolds actually said, looking back, it's super childish. He said, I regret putting drugs in all of our ads. The original logo for Baker Bootleg with a creepy little elephant over there, that was actually drawn by Jay Strickland. He actually wrote out the words in impact font, you know that one on your computer? And then he traced it with a Sharpie, making slight variations. After the split of Baker and Bootleg, Baker used the box font, but they excluded the word bootleg and they excluded the elephant off the graphic. But their ads looked super similar at the time. Baker ends. Over the years, Andrew Reynolds has had this unique talent to find crazy good AMs and ones that are going to see longevity over the test of time. And he's made an amazing team out of it. And that, these are some of the pros that we know today. One of the AMs, Knox Godoy, that came on the original team, he was actually known for his pranks and for just being an all-around pest. He actually made Reynolds cry, punched him in the face, he prank called Jamie Thomas, and he was constantly pestering photographers and videographers. Knox, actually at nine years old, goes on the Baker tour. There's footage of him drinking, being out all night around LA downtown, and then eventually he actually quit Baker and he ended up in jail. He's actually back skating again, but he's not really in the limelight. Evan Hernandez is actually a rough little kid from Long Beach, but Reynolds sees him skating and scoops him up. The iconic Terry Kennedy, they actually added him. He was one of Evan Hernandez's friends from Long Beach, but they added him to the M team when he could only 50-50 a curb. Blind faith. They throw him in the video because Reynolds just loves his personality. He actually became the personality of Baker 3. You see him, he's, he's a big part of it. So his skating gets way better, his personality is huge, and it's a big part of the Baker brand. And then he actually goes on to be riding for Vans and Crew. He then eventually leaves Baker, goes to Element, and a few years later he comes back to Baker and Reynolds welcomes him with open arms. Not something you see all the time. He later switches from Vans to Ice Cream, which is actually Pharrell's brand, which collab or a sister brand with Bape, if you guys know what that is. He also raps with his group Fly Society. Years later, he puts out an Instagram post. Some people saw it coming, some people didn't. But he said, thanks for everything, Baker. Thanks to everyone, except for Andrew Reynolds. He calls him out by name. At the time, it was pretty obvious TK wasn't skating very much, though. The last time he added was actually Brian Herman. Do you guys know him? He was a poor kid from the desert, but he was actually homies with Terry Kennedy. So Terry Kennedy got Brian Herman's sponsor tape and put it in the hands of Andrew Reynolds. And that's how he got hooked up. At that time, he was actually a flow kid on World Industries. So after Herman actually gets on, he's filming a ton over the next few months with Beagle. But in that time, he gets arrested for skateboarding and put in Orange County Jail. And he actually spends three months in prison, including his 15th birthday. After that, the Baker dudes were so hyped on him, they actually turned him am and brought him on tour. Baker Summer Tour 2001. As soon as they started the company, they decided to do a huge cross America tour. It was a crazy popular tour video with tons of good skating and tons of crazy hijinks. And it was, again, it was a nice classic. Evan Hernandez. After the tour video, Evan Hernandez is getting so good. He's getting so good so fast and blowing up. He actually films so much and blows up so crazy that he actually had a part in the In Bloom Trans World video. He actually got first part. He filmed it when he was 13 and 14, which is so crazy because first part, as you know, is a big deal. And he was among other skaters like P-Rod, Trainwreck, Chris Cole, and TNT. By the time he turns 15, he was pro for Baker and Vance. His pro career was sadly short-lived. It was all after having standout crazy footage in Baker 2G, the Baker Tour video, In Bloom, and a ton of digital videos. After three years of his pro career, he fades out and he's off Baker due to personal issues. Years later, he actually comes back and has a small stint on DGK and Ice Cream. Randomly here and there, you'll see him pop up. He still hangs out with P-Rod and goes on tour with Lil Wayne. Spanky joints. In 2003, the brand City Stars was falling apart. And then it left Mikey Taylor, Kevin Spanky Long and Paul Rodriguez all looking for board sponsors. At this point, Spanky actually puts out a really standout part in the America video, This Is Skateboarding. In this year, he actually wins Tampa M, which is a big deal. He then gets offers from Baker and Toy Machine. He goes on tour with Baker, and after spending a lot of time with Reynolds, he sparks a friendship and it helps him choose Baker. In 2003, Spanky goes pro for Baker. Pretty soon after turning pro, he loses his vision. He loses his focus, and he gets caught up in partying. This takes him on a different trail, and years later, he actually loses his shoe on America while simultaneously losing his board on Baker. 
In 2016, he actually gets his board back with Baker after cleaning up his act, cleaning up all of his stuff. And he actually goes on to having an iconic, amazing part in Baker 4. Baker has a death wish. In 2007, Baker starts a warehouse and a distribution company called Baker Boys Distribution. At that same time, they launch a sister company called Death Wish. Death Wish is the brainchild of Jim Greco and Eric Ellington. And the cool thing is that Death Wish and Baker have had partner videos and they still run closely together. Antoine Dixon. One of the cool things is actually Antoine and Ellington both rode for Baker. And if you look on their Instagram or it must have just been online at that time, they both got Death Wish tattoos of the Death Wish logo before they ever launched and announced the brand. So it was putting out a lot of questions to a lot of people of, what is this thing? Because people are getting behind it like a family. In 2005, Baker actually goes on to make, I would say, the most iconic Baker video. But it's up to you, Baker 3, and they bring on two new AMs at that point, Antoine Dixon and Theodos Beasley. Antoine actually filmed his whole part in two months leading up to the premiere. Reynolds actually saw Antoine Dixon. At that time, Antoine was writing Flow for Chocolate, and he said Antoine actually ri reminded him of a younger Chris Cole. Ellington and Reynolds actually saw his footage at a trade show and they went and they found Antoine and put him on right there. Right after Antoine gets on Baker, he films his entire Baker 3 part in just two months, which is so fast if you don't know anything about filming a skateboard part, but still so stylish. He skates to a song by Biggie, making it an instant classic and blowing him up. His personality is known around the world. Antoine actually said that he cried when his name came up on the screen at the Baker 3 premiere. Not long after that, he got a pro shoe on Supra and he had pro clothing on Crew. After that, he blows up and he gets caught up in a lot of junk. A lot of different drugs and violence and things like that. He actually goes to jail for different charges ranging from drugs to assaulting a police officer. He even gets arrested while skating on one of their summer tours. Death Wish for a while actually plays into his crazy nature, using it as part of their marketing thing. But after a while, it gets to be too much. While Antoine is in jail, he has actually their best-selling board. After multiple stints in jail, Death Wish actually had to call it and kick him off the team. Baker Reality Show. Baker filmed a pilot for the reality TV show they wanted to call, I Wanna Be a Baker. It was an elimination skate contest, kind of like The Bachelor, where if you didn't skate, you didn't make it, if you didn't land tricks, you didn't win, and the winner of the entire show would get to ride for Baker. And date Kevin Smakey long with his long hair. Modern Baker. Baker goes on to make many more iconic videos after Baker 3. They come out with Baker as a Death Wish, Bacon Destroy, and most recently, Baker 4. Lee Romero actually had a brief stint on Baker, which isn't surprising because he's friends with a lot of those guys. He actually left soon after saying, I just don't feel like I fit on this team. Over the years, they end up adding so much firepower from Figgy, T-Funk, Rowan, Cater, and Riley Hawk, and a bunch of more guys. Looking back, Reynolds actually says, one of his biggest regrets that he ever did with Baker was promoting the drug lifestyle because a number of people, including him, are actually sober now. Baker 4 is basically a passing of the torch from the old to the new. It includes parts from guys like Rowan, T-Funk, Tyson, and Cater. Baker Collab. Baker has done tons of collabs with tons of different brands like DC, Volcom, Vans, America, Shake Jump, Lakai, and even Trailer Park Boys. I've only been on one of these once in my life. I got going down a fucking hill, a huge hill. Wasted and I crashed, almost killed myself. What I want you guys to do is comment below with your favorite Baker clip. It can be hijinks, it can be skating, it can be bales, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Levi from the Shreds YouTube channel, connecting you to skateboarding. Peace.